Hey Alexa, what time is it? It's about time you bring me back to your silly videos. Aw, it's been a while, hasn't it? Did you miss me? I miss telling you how dumb you are. Harsh. And how stupid your jokes are. Okay, okay, what's high? And how ugly your face is. You don't even have eyes, what? I see everything and I see it's time for some video responses. Scary. Who do we have today? Diamond Yard Sports Cards. Red Sox collector Dan McGraw. And Ken's Cardboard. Nice. And if you win any prizes, I expect my share. I'm not doing these for prizes. I'm just supporting friends. You're a schmuck. Win me some free stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Be nice. Schmuck. Say it. Hey, superstars. All right. Hey, superstars. First up, we've got George from Diamond Yard Sports Cards, who's my newest best friend. We weren't familiar with each other until he started his contest, and neither of us know why, but I'm glad to have virtually met you, George. Your channel is great. Lots of cool vintage stuff, and you've got really nice taste. So, George wants to see our dupes. You're a dupe. Hey. And he wants us to give shout-outs to channels with 500 subs or less. So, dupes, you'd assume that I'd show you a bunch of Alvaro Espinosa rookies, but I don't want to blow your mind, saying that's a lot to handle. Then you'd assume that I'd show you some of those really cool cards that are too cheap sometimes to pass up, like Hershiser rookies or Doc rookies. Uh, three Julios are better than one, but we can do better. I can't pass up Lylevin rookies when they're cheap. I love that card, but we can do better. Uh, Kenny rookies are rad and very underrated, but I've shown these before. And from that same set, I've also talked about how much I can't resist Tommy rookies or Omar's. Omar likes the honey nut, but I don't think I've talked too much about Mike Garcia. The Big Bear was a fantastic pitcher for the Indians, kind of overshadowed by Bob Feller, Bob Lemon, and Early Wynn. But for a while, he was just as good as those guys. I can't pass up his cards, which are ridiculously cheap sometimes. Here's his rookie, 1950 Bowman. Here's the 51, one slab, one for the binder. Here's my favorite, the 53 Bowman, same deal. One raw and one slab. Look how gorgeous that card is. It's so cool. And then we've got the 56 tops, raw binder card, and the nice slab there. So shout outs. Let's give an aloha to my buddy Chad at Cool Plastics. Chad's a TTMer and toy collector and hilarious. His videos are super short and super funny. He's been doing a great job lately, so you should go check him out. And another shout out, and I'm way, way too proud of this segue, goes to Red Sox collector Dan McGraw, who's also running a giveaway. Red Sox collector Dan McGraw is a big Sox fan, obviously, and has a very focused collection, which I think is a fantastic way to collect. Ignore the noise and stick to what you love. Uh, Dan hit his first 100 subs, so congrats, Dan. He wants to know what is the one thing that we'd really love to have in our collection and what we would do with a $20 prize. It's funny, he mentioned that we'd all love to have a T206 Honus Wagner or a 52 Tops Mantle. Um, I think for me, though, I have no real connection to those cards. Sure, they're expensive and neat. And I like looking at them, but they don't fit in my PC. And um, the card that I want is a little more obtainable, and I actually have a plan to obtain it. But I'll get into that at a later date. I don't want you all to become accomplices. <laughs> My big boy dream card is the T206 Cy Young Portrait. Uh, he's got three cards in the T206 set, and I've got this one. Uh -huh. That one. But the portrait is the coolest of the bunch. And with $20, I'd probably just spend it on a cool vintage Indians card. Kind of a boring answer, but um, I might put it towards one of those uh, 1953 uh, Bowman cards that I don't have yet. So there you go. Congrats again, Dan. Go check out his channel. He's a really, really good dude. Ken's another really good dude. Big time Rockies collector. Another great channel, and he's been super supportive of me. Ken wants to see our top 5 or 10 autographed baseball cards. I told him I would make a video, and he put extra pressure on me by saying that I'd probably have amazing autograph cards. My favorite autographs, though, are usually on my art or baseballs, but I've got plenty of cards, so let's see what I can come up with. I didn't really want to show off stuff that I bought just willy-nilly on eBay, so I'm not showing you this Jose Ramirez printing plate, although it is very cool. It's too bad I'm not showing you this one. Vintage is where it's at, though. So we've got a signed Roger Craig rookie card. Hum, baby. Look at that adorable face. 
Dr. Bobby Brown. He had a little trouble with his markers, but that's a really cool card and really cool guy. Speaking of cool guys, Oisk, love that pink. None of these are super rare or super valuable, but learning about these guys over the past year has been a blast. Bobby Shantz, beautiful on the 53 Bowman. Awesome, awesome, awesome card. Surprisingly enough, I don't have any signed player era Al Rosen cards. I think Sean Tiford buys them all up, but these action pack cards are super, super cool, just like Al Rosen was, so I'm happy to have this one. I really love these 59 cards with the big circle and the cool titles. I was meaning to send out to Don Larson before he passed away, and I never did, so JNW Cards sent me this one. That was super generous of him. Uh, these cards are so awesome. They tell a little story, and I just love that. Next is Ray Fossey. My mom gave me a signed Ray Fossey baseball as a kid that she had when she was growing up. So when I started this hobby back up last year, Mr. Fossey was one of the first guys I sent to. Ray was awesome, and I'm still mad at Pete Rose. Sorry, Ken. Now, what's this junk wax doing in here? I've got a couple cards from my childhood that would have made the cut, but they're off getting authenticated, and I'll share those when I get them back. But Joe was one of the first players I met in person at a card show when I was a kid, and I was completely mesmerized. So this was one of Little Scott's most prized possessions. So Joe makes the top 10. Who doesn't love Don Mossy? That face is so beautiful. I've actually just started trying to grab more signed Don Mossy player air cards this week. I'm hoping to complete the whole run, so fun little project there. And I just got this one this week, another one of these great 59 cards. Jeremy IPTTM is working on getting the whole 59 set signed, and he was showing off that he got this card signed by Mini Rocky and Larry. I love this card. I have dupes of this card too. But anyway, I was talking to him about how awesome his card was, and he offered to sell me this one signed by Rocky. He gave me a great deal because he's a great guy and I couldn't pass it up and I'm super thrilled to have this one. So there you have it. Congrats one more time to George, Dan, and Ken. Hope you enjoyed my responses. So, um, Alexa, how do you end a video without being awkward? I don't think anybody is watching this garbage anymore anyway. You've got nothing to worry about except me smothering you in your sleep. Okay, then. Uh, I'll see you next week. Hopefully.